right. Uh, what we're about to explain is what anyone can do in case of an emergency, natural disaster, hurricane, etc. Uh, in these types of situations where you can't go to your sink to get water, potable water, the key word, which is drinkable water, uh, you can use some household supplies to clean your water for you and your community. Uh, my name is Victor. I'm a Cal State LA student, and this is my partner, Antonio. And he is going to tell you what materials we have used to filter our contaminated water. Pretty much it's a bottle being cut. We use activated carbon, a sponge, cotton, and a base to hold all the materials. What we have here is uh, dirty water with oil. And I'm going to just pour it, and within seconds, you can see the process. Say what? Now, what you want to remember is that before you drink the water, you have to disinfect it. These steps here pretty much take care of the turbidity, which is the cloudiness of the water. Uh, they'll get out large particles that may be in the water from the debris. But the last step, and most of these steps follow what our, any one city may do to clean this water, any municipality. The last step, like I was saying, is disinfection. You can use iodine, chlorine, or just boil the water. We will use chlorine. The CDC suggests that you use uh, about a quarter, quarter teaspoon per gallon of chlorine. But after you put the chlorine in the water, what you want to do is let it sit for about 30 minutes. That will eliminate the smell and the taste of the chlorine. And that is how you clean dirty water.